Hey, what's going on guys? John here, and today I wanted to do a video review for the TP-Link EAP670. So in this video, I'm just gonna walk you through a little bit of my network setup here on my property. We'll talk a little bit about this device and give you some idea of what to expect. So as you can see, I'm actually staring at the top ceiling here in my finished garage. Um, we decided to mount this here in a particular position where I don't actually need to utilize power over ethernet because I have a double plug up here that actually powers, um, the other plug powers our garage door opener. I figured I would mount this right on the beam, basically makes a nice center point in our large garage so that that way we have nice Wi-Fi coverage all throughout this space. Um, I'll kind of walk you through the network setup, giving you some idea of how I went about this and some of my thought process. And then we'll talk a little bit about the um, ways that you can go about setting this up. So let me first actually run outside so I can give you guys an idea of a layout of the property so you can see some idea of what it is that I was trying to do. So um, we have this huge, huge property. This was actually formerly owned by a mechanic and this is actually the garage. So I have a finished office down here in the end. This is basically a converted area that I have a gym. And then I have the large two bay garage here. And the actual house spans all over here. So inside the house, we have our main router basically residing right down here, pretty much where my finger's pointing in the basement. Um, I initially wanted to set up something where we could utilize internet up in this finished apartment that I have above the garage and also out in the office and additionally have some capacity. Let's say we're pulling out our car here in the driveway. I could like pull up Google Maps and not have issues with connection trying to reach all the way into the basement. So typically that's been a real issue and one of the reasons I went with this particular device is so I could have that coverage. So. Um, I'll walk you through some of the setup I have with other TP-Link devices and one of my in other initial thoughts is to potentially add like another outdoor Wi-Fi unit that possibly might go over here like in the corner of this fence or maybe all the way down there on the end. So that way if we're out in the yard we could still get full Wi-Fi capacity. But essentially we have running from the main router and the internet, um, we have an ethernet cable that runs all the way through our drop ceiling and it actually comes up this um, deck here runs into the ceiling of this kind of garden shed we have in the back and then runs up into a kick space that goes up into this apartment here. So um, I'll kind of walk you through the rest of the setup here so you have some idea of how we did this. But essentially um, I have of course this mounted up above. We have a very large space here with the garage. So anywhere I'm roaming in this space we can utilize with the TP-Link what's called fast roaming. So this means that if I'm over in the house and I have a TP-Link device there That'll be connected and as I walk out here to the garage, it'll immediately reconnect to this unit. And as I continue moving through the space, I have another EAP 235 wall unit here in the office. So this is kind of like my finished man cave game room office space. And over in here, I actually have the 235 wall. Um, this guy basically only really provides internet for this space. Um, and it also is kind of limited in terms of its capacity for Wi-Fi capabilities. So if I go, let's say to this bathroom down here in the garage, I'll pretty much lose connection to that. But with this unit up here on the, on the ceiling here, I have that capability. Now let's say I roam all the way upstairs into our finished apartment. We actually have another um, wall, TP-Link 235 wall up here. So I just gotta throw in my code on the door. And in the apartment here, we have another 235 wall right here. So what this allows me to do is as I'm roaming through all the different areas, whether or not I'm up here in this large apartment, um, I'm basically gonna all be on the same SSID, intermittently connecting between all the different devices and allowing me to have full connectivity. So I think if you're looking for something like this, one of the recommendations I would make would be to actually go and set up what's called, um, essentially you wanna get what's called the OC200. This is a hardware based controller that will allow you to utilize the TP-Link. And what that's gonna do is give you full capability to go in and have hardware management 24 seven of all of your different TP-Link devices. You can set up the fast roaming capability and that way as you're roaming between um, areas of your property, it's gonna intermittently, in my case, if I go to the office, it'll connect. If I'm on the phone, I come up here, I'm still gonna be on the phone, I'm not gonna have a dropped Wi-Fi call. And really that's gonna give me that full connectivity. So my plan is to most likely add another outdoor unit that'll again go out there in that garden. And then I'm probably gonna add another EAP 
um, 670 back in the main part of the house and the upstairs, and that'll really provide me full coverage as I roam all throughout the entire property. Anyway, I hope this video is helpful. Make sure that obviously um, you have something if you are going to be in a situation where you need PoE, um, that you either utilize a PoE switch or you could utilize PoE injectors as you're going throughout your property. And of course, make sure to test all of your network cables prior to actually mounting hardware, right? I wouldn't want to run a cable, bolt it all up, and then find out, oh, this cable is bad when I bolt it all the way up to that beam. I actually had that happen when we ran the cable from this all the way down to the wall unit. The cable was actually bad. So just make sure as you're doing your setup, whether or not it's home or business, that you're testing cables, you're making sure that everything's able to connect. And if in, for whatever reason you don't wanna utilize the hardware controller, you can also set these up as uh, separate access points. So I could in theory have this have its own SSID, the one downstairs have its own ID, as well as the one in the garage. But that ultimately would not be the best way to go about this because it's gonna be having your phone or your device or whatever you're using intermittently connecting to all these different things, right? So now I'm on one Wi-Fi, I come down here, the phone or whatever you're using is now gonna to try to connect to a different Wi-Fi. Whereas if you utilize the hardware control with the SSID simultaneous features, you could just have the same SSID everywhere on one single property. Anyway, thanks for checking out the video. Hopefully you guys found this helpful and got some idea of my walkthrough and thought process around setting up a really kick-ass network with, um, you know, with uh, the TP-Link devices. Anyway, thanks for watching and I hope you found it helpful.